we are going live All right. Just a minute. So how are you all today? You can unmute and tell your state. How are you feeling today? It's great. It's and normal. Says, Huh? Normal. 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 Otherwise, are you abnormal? <laughs> <laughs> so it's, a, nein, nein. it's it's an okay state, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, what about you, Aditya? Yeah, okay state. Okay state. What about you, Kalash? Same, I'm okay state. Okay state. What about you, Saish? I'm fine. Feeling fine. You are? Feeling fine. Feeling fine. Okay, what about you, Roshni? Mm, I'm tired. I am tired. Okay, how about a huge round of applause to your own self? Yes? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, if I say that you are limitless. What does that mean to you? The first thing that will come to your mind is what are you talking about, ma'am? How can we be limitless? How many of you agree to this? You can put a, you know, raise hand or something like that. Hello. So you feel you can't be limitless. Okay. Anybody else? All right. So if you think you can't be limitless, let me just try to make you change your perspective. There is a movie called uh, Limitless and the hero is Bradley Cooper. Has any of you seen that movie? Okay. It's a very interesting movie. And in that movie, oh, we have this hero who's wanting to be a uh, who's wanting to be a writer, okay? And he wants to live um, his best life, but he is very unorganized. He is very indisciplined, and he is like not bothered about his looks because they say generally writers are always on a high, you know, thinking about ideas. So they'll be wearing a big uh, kurta or a, uh, and jeans in India or outside, like, you know, the baggies and uh, t-shirt or shirt and, you know, hair all um, not very set. So that's the kind of uh, look that writers have. So he has that kind of a look and he just wants to uh, write a book and he has a lot of ideas, but he is not able to just sit down and write the book. So he comes across a drug dealer who tells him that I have this pill. It's called as NYZ. And this pill allows you to access 100% of your brain. People say that you only access maximum, I think it is 4%, which is uh, the genius Albert Einstein who accessed his brain 4%. And we access hardly 1% of our brain. But then this Bradley Cooper is given this pill saying that you can access 100% of your brain and create that masterpiece that you are waiting for. So what he does is he starts taking that pill and he starts feeling good about himself. And he sees clutter in his room and he decides to, you know, keep it all organized one after another. He changes his habits and then he transforms from a struggling writer to a financial wizard. And he enters into that world with a lot of, money and you know uh, lovely cars and a great lifestyle and then what happens is rest of the story but just imagine 
in real life, do you have such kind of a pill to be limitless? No. So I would like to say that yes, such kind of a pill does exist. But before talking about the pill, let's talk about what do you think are your limits to living the perfect version of you? Yes. Any of you? What are your limits? For example, Saish, what is your limit to living a perfect version of you? The perfect Saish is not yet created. So if he has to be created, what are the challenges that he's facing? I should focus less on social media and etc. Okay. So your limit is inability to concentrate, right? Distracted. Uh, yeah, remove distractions. Right? Okay. What else? Can it be determination? Can we be? Determination. Determination? Yeah. We have to be determine determined, but we yeah. are not. That is what you're saying. Yeah. So it's lack of determination. What else? Lack of interest. Okay. What else? Yes, Krupa, what do you think? What is the limit that you face in being your perfect version? Just reflect on yourself and find out. Uh, lack of hard work. Lack of? Hard work. Okay. Lack of hard work. Hard or smart work. Okay. What else? Um, think less of what other people think about me. Ah. Uh, so the I'm limit is thinking more about what others tell about you, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What else? Sudhir ji, hai aap bolie. I think uh, uh, my limits will be body. My body. Um, the strength you don't have. You feel you don't have the strength to take up the challenge. Strength, intelligence, then. Uh, limitation of eyesight. Bo physical limitations, you mean to say? Yes. Okay. So we Any actually, we are stuck in this body. You know. We are stuck in this body, but the body works as per the directions that you give. If you yes, tell yourself it, that you're sick, you continue to remain sick. But it has limitations, right? Okay. If you think body has limitations, let me share with you a story about a great uh, athlete. Uh, in fact, he, he was, um, uh, you know, trying uh, the cycle race. I don't know what's it called, cyclothon. Okay. It's a very famous person. And I am not a Roger something. I'm not able to remember the name right now. And he had uh, won at the Olympics 
uh, I think the gold or the silver medal. And his disability was that he had no legs. He had artificial limbs. That is one leg and one hand he did not have. So Sudhir, okay. Sudhir do you think your body limits you? Listening to this. No. So it's lack of determination. Yes. More than the body. If you know about the famous story of this person, what's his name? Nick Vijuvich. Have you anybody have any of you heard about him? Nick Vijuvich. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nick Vijuvich is a person who is my hero because he is called as the limbless man without limits. Now, this person was, I think, the fourth or fifth in his family and his parents did not want to have him. So they tried many methods to ensure that he did not come into this world. But as luck would have it, he came into this world, but without limbs. In place of his hands, he has two flipper-like, uh, you know, extensions. And so with his legs. So this boy, when he was born, he was literally ridiculed by everyone. And one fine day, he felt so irritated that he went and told his father, is this my destiny? Can you not teach me something by which, you know, I will do something in this world? And his father says, I'm sorry, just go away. I have got nothing to do with you. Then he goes to his mother and he says, mom, can you help me to become someone in this world? And she says, no, no, I've got a lot of work to do. You better go and find a way to amuse yourself. So then he comes out. And uh, when he comes out of his gate, he sees that there is a man who is sitting with his head in his hands. And he's literally sobbing. So Nick goes beside him and says that, uh, sir, what happened to you, sir? And he says, go away from here. I don't want anybody here. But then Nick again asks, sir, maybe I can help you. So he says, I have lost all my money. My wife has left me and there is nothing left for me to do. So uh, this person, Nick, he tells him, sir, if you were a rich man before, you still can be one. Go and get back your money. Go and get into something that will help you to create more money. You had it before, so you can have it now. So Nick actually encouraged that person and that person got so motivated. He says, thank you. And he goes away. That particular time, Nick realizes that he has a capacity. Whether he has complete limbs or not, he has the capacity to motivate and inspire people to perform. So then he decides that he's going to be a motivational speaker. So he calls up one school and he says, hello, I, 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 I am Nick and I, you know, what must have happened after that? What would have happened? They would have kept the phone down, right? So there was no sound at all. He said, no, I'm not going to give it up. This man got inspired by my few words. So I'm definitely going to do it. So he mustered enough of courage and he rang up a school and he said, I am Nick Vijovich. I am a motivational speaker and I want an appointment with your principal to speak to the students in your school. When can I get that appointment? Tomorrow by 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. And they say, well, why, not you, why, why don't you come in at 2 p.m.? And then he goes and speaks to the principal and there he speaks to uh, the children. And that is his great, uh, you know, speech that he has given. And since then on, he goes on a spree of motivating people. And he's an amazing person. He's still there. He's happily married. He can even swim. And I'll show you his video later on in class. And he's such an exemplary person. He had one of his uh, assistants who would actually lift him and keep him on the table. And then he'll keep walking so fast and he's able to do everything that we do. 
so that's the power of motivation if you determine to do what you want to you definitely can go ahead so our limits are imaginary it's our habits which become our challenges do you agree to this when i talk about habits it's mental habits as well as physical habits how many of you agree say i so they do you still think thank you do you still think that uh, your body is a limitation no i have made my body a limitation yeah correct give him a huge round of applause for recognizing this wonderful sudeep we give excuses when we are supposed to be giving results it said that if you are limitless you your sorry if you are un, uh, fearless you can be limitless your life can be limitless so basically what stops us is that fear fear of trusting people fear of getting things done by our own selves fear of getting things done by others right so let's just take a look at what are the limits that we put on ourselves so it's inability to remove the distractions like sai issue said that it is not possible for me to uh, you know stay away from the phone i want you to right now create one strategy by which you will be able to stay away from the phone one strategy turn off the notifications of the entire phone himmat hai kya <laughs> himmat hai anybody in the group any other suggestion apart from turning off the notifications this is one thing that tisha had done na she had turned off the notifications so there was no distraction for her to look into the phone yes kalash so i want to ask him that if you are on instagram do you like reels do you like reels yes. yeah yes kalash so my dad has done that he used to used to see the reels so he wants uh, there's a option called like we can't see reels there's a blockage so we can't see reels you can use that and for tisha my dad has done he has locked all the social media apps okay it can be done and uh, yeah and, and by yourself you have to say that uh, i don't have to watch it so uh, color since that you are saying it here uh, may i ask you like are you able to keep yourself away from your mom's phone yeah so how long do you use it hardly one hour sure yeah my son in full classes how can i get time wonderful so give him a huge round of applause awesome saish any other way you think that you can used to uh, you know keep your phone away from you put limitations on my screen time limitations on your screen time anybody else can suggest any other method fix an hour for checking it uh, i didn't i didn't get you i didn't get you kripa Uh, for we just check your phone only for the hour. check your phone only after an hour yeah, yeah. okay so every I, hour I you check a, your phone another idea yes uh, you can uh, like i have tried this uh, like i check the phone in the morning and mm. in the evening and no other time like i am talking about social media so okay. this might help you uh, so keep uh, doing like this for some time then you will uh, create a habit so this will help you to uh, keep yourself away from social media so wonderful try some time all right so aditya after you have used this method and you are doing you are watching it in the morning and in the evening how is the feeling that you are having it's better uh, it's better i use this uh, during my 
engineering so uh, throughout my engineering so it helped me in my studies as well and i was always calm and happy. calm and composed composed okay great so he has used this for his studies and it has worked ultimately he is feeling good what about you respecting yourself haven't you risen a little higher in your own eyes because it it was so distracting for you but you decided to overcome it yes right you feel yes. great about it yourself yes so saish i'm sure you're going to have this feeling do you want to have this feeling that aditya had saish so i couldn't hear you i said do you want to have this feeling that aditya had that is he has risen in his own eyes he has had that respect for himself that yes it was such a difficult thing many people are not able to do it but i have done it yes miss yeah so we will give uh, saish 63 days so your challenge limitless challenge saish is 63 days to fix a particular time in the morning and in the evening when you will be watching the social media only those two times and of course the phone also right and can you tell me aditya how many minutes was it so it was like uh, after waking up so obviously you check the phone if there's some message on whatsapp or something okay and in the afternoon also i sleep for an hour every day so uh, like that so i used to do it after waking up i used to watch it for 15 minutes uh, 15 minutes yeah okay you can take a sanyas from social media except for 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes in the evening and there is a special prize from my side if you are able to achieve it within 21 days all right everybody here is proof for this uh, kalash knows that tisha has got 100 rupees for taking up the challenge you will be getting 50 rupees for taking up the challenge now here it is saish who is going to take up the challenge of um, you know keeping himself away it's called as a uh, phone sanyas so your challenge name is called as phone sanyas <laughs> great a huge round of applause to aditya and saish wonderful one another student of mine what he did was he would keep the phone in a place where he would not be able to take it that means you know above the showcase or above the cupboard so only when the ring used to come he would go and take it to attend to the call सोचो तो बहुत सारे रास्ते हैं पर हम अपने आप को बहुत क्रिपल्ड लगाते फील करते हैं यू नो वी फील एन एडिक्शन टूवर्ड्स इट और अ टेम्पटेशन टूवर्ड्स इट व्हिच वी कैन नॉट स्टॉप वी हैव अ मैसेज फ्रॉम सुधीर ओके फाइन सो बीइंग लिमिटलेस इंक्रीजेस योर रिस्पेक्ट फॉर योर ओन सेल्फ so when you create new challenges that is when you take up challenges you feel greater respect for yourself right lack of determination what can be done for lack of determination yes anybody roshni you had lack of determination to speak to new people take that initiative to mix up with others how did you get determined um, so it's actually something you said i think in the day before yesterday class uh, you said that uh, how would you if you want if the person if a person wants to change then uh, he himself have to do it no one else can do that for him or her so i think uh, that's what clicked in my mind yeah so you can't make anybody change they will change only when they want to and you knew the importance of speaking to people the importance of improving your communication skills and you enroll for this course so learning new skills is also a way of becoming limitless 
learning new skills will also help you to become limitless yes now pushkar i want you to share uh, your feelings when you had your group and you were given challenges of you know taking risks that is pushing against your limits because you could have lose you could have lost yeah so, so can you explain yeah. to the group about the game that we had yeah so uh, i think most of them were present that day uh, yeah. but still i'll do it again uh, so we were uh, two groups four each and uh, i was the leader of my group and harsh was the leader of the opponent group and uh, there was a an angry bird sponge uh, which is nam's favorite and we have to throw it you know in a row and ensure that we don't move from our position and it does not fall so okay uh, from front to back we would have got three points and from back to front also the other three points and uh, the only challenge was uh, throwing it from front to back was easy but from back to front was a bit challenging and i still appreciate the idea by her uh, you know of the strategy that he used of keeping our hands back when we throw the sponge from back to front you know uh, it becomes actually more easier and so and it prevents mistakes i believe and so that uh, so that uh, in the second round we implemented that in our group as well and we were successful in doing that but tell me about the emotions that you felt yes aditya saish and krupa was there tell me about the emotions that you felt when you know initially you were doing and you missed out three points and then you had to take a lot of effort and then come so what happened at that time yeah so as a leader i was a little tense you know and we get frustrated when our team members make mistakes but uh, it is necessary to come back stronger i believe and we changed the strategy we took that risk and yeah. so it worked at the end so what was actually going wrong uh maybe the strategy was wrong you know keeping the hands in the front and expecting the sponge to come in our hand perfectly exactly. is difficult correct correct so what happened is many times what we do is we keep doing the same things again and again again and again <clears throat> and expecting a different result yeah so that's not possible so unless you change what you are doing now your results will not change so if each of you want to be unstoppable limitless then you have to see what are you doing now and how can you change so if you want to have that um, what you say the dream physique that you are thinking about you need to go to the gym and you need to actually push yourself hard right and it is possible if you determine and develop a strategy to do it this is what you also had learned from the game right yes sir yeah and what happened you didn't go for six you went for nine directly and i really loved it yeah you i think you uh, went for nine right yeah i think you know when the first step goes right and your team members are with you you know it creates a strong team development you know we develop that team development skill there and the bonding yeah. with, uh, between the team members and you know we push ourselves more on being wonderful limitless. awesome awesome fantastic so it is the first to win that is very important isn't it it is the first to win win that infuses energy into you chalo abhi dekhenge aur aage badhenge so it's like you know once you take the first step the rest of the steps are going to follow you're not going to come back after that so it is an initial achievement which you want you know which makes you feel like yeah i can go ahead and climb the flight of stairs towards victory right so um aditya and roshni i would want you to comment on this like what were your feelings during that time yeah so at the starting uh, yeah there was a bit of uh, i won't say miscommunication but we didn't speak to uh, properly with rupa that about uh, hands behind and everything then okay. after that uh, after seeing their strategy after her did that then we uh, decided that we practiced one or two times and then we executed it in the first try only so i think uh, a bit of planning and strategy was required at the start and after implementing everyone knows we won it 
correct so the communication skills were also required yeah. to enhance the performance of the team right yes so one of the things one of the skills that you can acquire is communication skills right okay yes ma'am yes um, roshni so uh, i think during the whole process i felt comfortable because i think uh, harsh kept saying that you can do this you can do this so it felt comfortable and but uh, when it was my turn i think in the back of my mind there was this thought that what if i am going to miss it up right so what if i miss out what if something goes wrong what if i fail because sadly the society has told that you should never fail exam mein kabhi fail mat hona red mark leke mat aana right so that has conditioned us that you just cannot fail and if i fail means the world will come to an end and sometimes sadly they themselves come to an end right aren't the maximum number of suicides happening because they think of themselves as a failure failure is such a, a what do you say dreadful word for people right mai kuch bhi karu fail nahi hoga somehow or the other i have to win that has been put into our heads na ki agar tum jeete nahi to tum kuch nahi ho tum to cho i remember the students who would be punished outside the classrooms and they thought nothing about themselves just because they could not score in mathematics or they could not score in english or in any other subject your value was determined by the number of marks that you got i am sure harsh has something to say about this yes harsh nothing much a bit of experience yes share it <laughs> share nothing. it um uh, we had our history class test and it was a surprise class test i wasn't revised my memory is bit weak and uh, what was the worst scenario in that was it was history's paper surprise paper mm. i guess uh, i got pretty low marks so as punishment a uh, teacher gave us some punishments of rewriting two or three papers and many a times because of our uh, mischieving and backbencher thing we were scolded and we were just you know sent out of the class and we were standing there and i remember one day that we were standing we were standing out of the class and suddenly principal ma'am came to for just you know having a tour in the, yeah and that moment was so scary we were like we were hiding ourselves where should we you know where would we we fit inside ki chhup jaye bas dharti phat jaye aur main niche andar chale jaye exactly same feeling same feeling <laughs> and and then what happened because of that failure actually uh, about after that failure i i learned one thing that surprise test are surprising so we should always be prepared <laughs> so you gave your parents also a surprise of not passing it <laughs> okay it was a class test not a semester or something but okay yeah class tests aren't that important but yeah uh, but frankly like, speaking didn't that failure make you feel that you are not like others a kind of like yeah i thought about my memory how my memory is so weak i am not that great at remembering names and dates and places hmm i forget hmm. a lot i forget a lot of things see i believe every child is unique it's we as teachers who can't understand your uniqueness so there's no problem with y'all there's problem with teachers who can't understand the uniqueness of a child not all five fingers are alike right so some are good at arts i'm sure even without whether you do your mba or you don't do your mba whether you study or you don't study i'm sure you've got all the businessman skills and you will definitely be a great businessman Thank mark you. my words to all the viewers out there this is harsh mathre 
who is going to be a businessman and i definitely will be taking his interview on zindagi ka parcha chai pe charcha biji ke sath is that a promise yes yes 100% promise Done. yes <laughs> <laughs> this is how we create destinies in moments of realizations right you have it in you and believe me i am training a company whose uh, ceo has not cleared his examinations and he studied only up to 12 but he is one of the most intelligent guys that i have ever met any subject you ask him and he will know and his english is impeccable so it's not necessary that you have to uh, win as a student according to the traditional way of schooling if you are interested in learning you can learn from anywhere you can learn from people you can learn from nature you can learn from books you can learn from projects you can learn from anybody in the world here i am reminded about a particular situation in which we had um, you know i was in the train and i was traveling from burubli to church gate and uh, the, there were there was another tra- train beside me and um, there was this guy who came in through that train and you know jumped towards our train and came here and there was a fraction of a second and the other train just moved so i said bhai tum kya kar rahe ho he said nahi madam mereko aadat hai mereko malum hai main pahunch sakta hu i said itna bada risk liya then he said madam risk ke bina kya hota hai zindagi mein kuch bhi nahi hai and he was a young fellow maybe 12 year old but the determination in that he had now was so great i said bhai tumhara naam kya hai so he said kailas so i said theek hai kailas parvat ki tarah tum wahan pahunchne wale ho kya then ha madam main ek din hai na bada businessman banega so what determination he has he is not thinking of himself as having any limits so i am also reminded about another one person who brought a thousand feet gala for his shop at bhindar and uska bhumi poojan jo hota hai na starting mein house warming jaisa office warming ye party rakha tha to usme bahut sare log aaye the to wo pooja vagaire sab karne ke baad sab log jab khana kha rahe the he is talking to one of his friends and saying hamare jo baju mein hai na 10000 feet ka jo gala hai Uh, उसका क्या रेट होगा मैं अगले साल ये लेने वाला हूं इमेजिन ही हैज नॉट इवन स्टार्टेड हिज फर्स्ट बिजनेस ही इज ऑलरेडी थिंकिंग अबाउट अनदर बिजनेस बिकॉज ही नोज इट इन हिज हेड दैट ही विल रीच देयर दैट इज कॉल्ड एज डिटर्मिनेशन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज बीइंग लिमिटलेस सो आर यू रेडी टू बी लिमिटलेस यस 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 Yes. yes so let's have a look at what is the next challenge that you face which stops you from being limitless lack of interest now this lack of interest is in studies kalash passion. most probably lack of interest is in studies passion kuch cheeze palle padte nahi hai right i would tell you have to fall in love with the subject that you don't like at least till 10th standard hmm. so when you look humne kya bola tha agar nazariya badal doge to nazare badal jayenge right so if you change your perspective towards the subject and say i can't do without you and um, start working on that area like there was one girl who was extremely good at all the subjects except marathi and she was from mrs prema kotian school where i was giving sessions so she told me how she overcame her lethargy of marathi and how she developed herself uh, i forgot her name purushottam high school yes she is a student from purushottam high school and she said that mujhe har subject mein 80 up 90 marks aise milta tha बट खाली मराठी में मुझे यू नो समझ में ही नहीं आता था वॉट शी डिड वॉज शी स्टार्टेड रीडिंग मराठी न्यूज पेपर्स शी स्टार्टेड वॉचिंग मराठी मूवीज शी स्टार्टेड वॉचिंग मराठी टेलीविजन शी स्टार्टेड वॉचिंग यूट्यूब इन मराठी एंड देन शी एक्सेल्ड एंड शी गॉट नाइंटी सिक्स परसेंट इन टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड सो करना है तो सब कुछ होता है पर वो जो मिस्टर लेजीनेस होता है ना पुष्कर ने लेजीनेस के साथ बात किया ना 
मजा आया था बहुत ज्यादा हैव यू ओवर पावर्ड योर लेजीनेस इन प्रोग्रेस आई से इन प्रोग्रेस यस एंड वी कैन सी मालूम था आज आराम से आप बैठ के पढ़ रहे थे कल भी पढ़ रहे थे ये टाइम पे yeah. मेरे पास ना पीछे स्क्रीन है एक्सरे विजन है जो तेरे घर तक पहुंचता है सो दैट दैट इज अ स्पिरिट यू नो एंड यस लेट्स सी व्हाट इज द नेक्स्ट लिमिटेशन दैट वी हैव लैक ऑफ हार्ड और स्मार्ट वर्क थिंकिंग अबाउट व्हाट पीपल विल थिंक अबाउट यू now uh, tell me roshni are you a little away from what people will think about you ya abhi bhi wo dimag mein hota hai it's ke log kya kahenge it's there it's there it's still there but at least you are coming out of it right yeah i am trying. can you give me a can you give me a date by which you will stop thinking about what people will say um Uh, it's going to take a lot of time a lot of time so that's a limitation that you put by yourself <laughs> isn't it so if you think it's going to take a lot of time it will take a lot of time if you think it's going to be like this it will be start falling in love with yourself and then you will see the talent that you have you're doing biotechnology obviously you are intelligent right My question is that one particular thing. लोग क्या कहेंगे अरे उनको अपना काम करने देना तू क्यों उनका काम कर रही है उनको क्या सोचना है उनको सोचने दो ना तुम क्यों सोच रही हो लोगों का काम ही होता है कहना <laughs> लोगों का काम अरे पुष्कर वो गाना गाओ ना प्लीज कौन सा <laughs> लोगों का काम है लोग तो नहीं नहीं वो नहीं पता वो गाना नहीं पता नहीं पता नहीं, कोई तो एक गाना पता होगा ना नहीं नहीं मेरे को बस वो गाना पता है कि मतलब वो सेंटेंस पता है कि लोगों को काम ही होता है क्या ना सो जस्ट मूव टूवर्ड्स द गोल्स डोंट लिसन टू पीपल लिसन टू योरसेल्फ वन डे यू आर गोइंग टू डेफिनेटली सिंग अ सॉन्ग फॉर अस हियर अरे मिस नहीं द सॉन्ग ऑन कुछ तो लोग कहेंगे हां यार एक है ना आई थिंक इट्स राजेश करना या 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 मुझे पता भी नहीं कौन है वो कहेंगे है ना हर्ष यस यस आता है गाना गाओ गाओ पूरा नहीं आता पूरा नहीं आता प्लीज लोगों का काम है कहना सो दैट दैट्स एक्चुअली यू नो वेरी ट्रू सो आई हैड अ लॉर्ड ऑफ व्हाट यू से बिंदास फीलिंग अबाउट माय सेल्फ एंड पीपल वुड से अरे तेरे को जरा भी शर्म नहीं आता लोग क्या कहेंगे आई सेड मैम आई एम डूइंग वॉट आई लाइक The question was, being a vice principal, I am supposed to be a kadoos. But who in the world has invented that uh, definition that if you are a vice principal, you cannot smile? Right. So I was criticized for smiling quite a lot. <laughs> so if people will speak about things that are, you know, not really worth thinking, if you are smiling, you are spreading. bright positive energy to everyone so there's nothing wrong about it so what i did was i reasoned with my mind why what i'm doing is right so that's one of the things that you need to do and then that will put an end to your lo kya kahenge people will always say something another one thing that made me believe in myself and stop thinking about what people thought was a quote by um i don't remember who said it but it was told to me by a sir that jis ped pe jyada phal hota hai usi ko patthar milta hai will anybody take and store a throne on a tree that doesn't have fruits right so if people are speaking about you be happy you are doing something that is why you're doing something worth being jealous of that is why they speak about you <laughs> isn't it so when you start changing your perspective about life life itself will change and log kya kahenge has killed so many dreams that you can't imagine 
if somebody wants to take up start up their own business they don't do that why why do they not do that log kya kahenge log kya kahenge are itna acha naukri tha 1.5 lakh rupya mahine milta tha kyu chhod diya tumne logon logon ne mujhe bhi ye kaha tha but i said the joy that i get out of coaching and counseling and training cannot equal that pay pack which i get in my bank account right so if you want to be a winner you have to dare to be different you cannot have limits and think about abundance right everybody wants abundance but is abundance limited it's opposite of limit na what does abundance mean it means limitless correct so if your thinking is limitless you can reach your dreams i'll just share a few things more so the first step towards becoming limitless in real life is to acquire new skills consistently most of us subconsciously think that oh, we can't learn or pick up a challenging skill you think how can i think that i don't want to be affected by the comments of what others say being affected by the comments of what others say is also a habit na so not being affected by the comments of others can also be a habit now for example if you say um learning coding is very difficult pushkar what do you think learning coding is very difficult from scratch yes ha huh? yeah from scratch if you start ha huh. it is it is it is challenging i'll say it's challenging but is it so difficult that you can't do it uh, no i you are doing I, it right yes so kripa he is he is learning programming is learning coding which can also be a base for data scientist okay so that's that's it's it may be difficult but it's not impossible right yeah it's difficult but nothing is impossible nothing is impossible i know of people who have done sociology and is doing coding now after graduating in sociology you are doing coding now uh-huh. so it is a perception that makes it difficult yeah so any of your limits if you say it's easy maybe it's not easy right now but it will be later on then things will happen like this yeah right well ah uh, another one way by which you can break your limits is to use personalized techniques to fight procrastination procrastination could be one of your limit aaj hai na kal karenge kal hai na parso karenge so there's a video on time boxing on my channel uh, the link of which i'll send into the group so you can have a look at that now um only do the thing you love while doing the thing you procrastinate on matlab jis samay aap koi cheez ko push away kar rahe hain na karne ka aap usi samay pe wo cheez jo aapko pasand hai karna wo karo so at least you are utilizing that time are you getting me for example uh if you combine challenging work with instant gratification by listening to your favorite music like you don't like to do mathematics and you keep pushing it away but then you say no 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 i'll do one thing main music laga ke sums karta hu then you will be doing both the things so what you're doing is you're linking something that you love with the thing that you want to procrastinate and that joint activity you are able to complete your task are you getting me Yes or no? Oh, uh, ma'am, uh, I w- I need a I have a question, but uh, like you know, it is like uh, there is a quote which says uh, when you study, you study; when you enjoy, you enjoy. So you know, while studying, why to listen music? You know, we can't focus on two things at a time. 
अरे दिस इज एक्टली वॉट आई यूज टू थिंक बट सम ऑफ माई स्टूडेंट्स दे टोल्ड मी दैट वाइल डूइंग मैथमेटिक्स वेन दे पुट म्यूजिक ना दे आर एबल टू डू दम्स फास्ट सो आई सेट ऐसा है क्या सो आई शू टेक टाइम टू करेक्ट पेपर्स ओके सो आई डिड वन थिंग आई टूक द म्यूजिक एंड आई पुट द इयरफोन्स इन माई इयर्स एंड आई वॉज करेक्टिंग द पेपर्स एंड आई रियलाइज आई कुड डू इट एंड लाइक इफ आई टूक ट्वेंटी फाइव पेपर्स इन वन आवर I completed more than thirty-six papers in one hour after listening to the music. Okay. So you think that see, laser sharp focus is a good thing. Yeah. But something that you don't want to do, something you you know you're not so interested in doing. If you okay. couple it with what has to be done, for example, I don't like cooking. Okay, <laughs> that everybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so what I do is. I keep my favorite Turkish movie on the window sill beside the uh, gas, and I'm making my rotis. Rotis, you don't go. No, absolutely not. Because I see it, right? Okay. And I be more cautious. That I don't want to burn anything. More cautious. And I feel happy. Then 10, 20, 30, 40 rotis are easily cooked. Easily, 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 easily. Try doing it. Try coupling the thing that you procrastinate about with something that you really love, okay. and then you will see that ये हो सकता है. ठीक है? Okay. So the next thing is like, um, if you want to watch a movie, you know, and you're not getting the time for it, so while doing some work that you don't like, you can keep the movie. Like I said about the Turkish series, वैसे कर सकते हैं. and another one important thing is prioritizing like a pro what does prioritization mean what does prioritization mean what is this responsibility or anything as a priority as the first thing to do first yeah. thing to do so suppose there are 10 things that you have to do in an hour 10 things that you have to do in in an hour then what will you do first Will depend upon the urgency of completing it. For example, Papa ne bola hai ke itna apko kam karke rakne ka hai. Bank me ja ke paise barne hai, ye slips leke aana hai, aur baaki ke apke khud ke bahut sare kam hai. And Dad says that by ten fifteen he is gonna come and it's already ten o'clock. So out of the ten things to do, what is the first one you're gonna do? Of course, the Dad's work. Bank. Of course, the dad's work, right? Because otherwise he will come and then he will start shouting at you if you don't do it. Correct. So priority, आप उस चीज को देना है जो एकदम urgent है और important है. So when you learn to prioritize what is to be done first, then you overcome your limits. Next, we go to that is uh, one second. next we go to letting your creativity flow at any time so to be limitless you have to find out a uh, creative ways of solving problems of dealing with the work log that you have of doing something which charges you up like for example when i work very hard and like suppose i have closed a deal it's an achievement so i used to go and give myself a treat How many of you treat yourself for an achievement? Yes, Kalash and Roshni and Krupa. So, what are your ways of treating yourself? Yes, Krupa. How do how do you? Yeah. I buy a chocolate for myself. You buy a chocolate for yourself. Wonderful. Chocolate for yourself if the work is done. Right. Okay. What about you, Harsh? आप नहीं करते हो एक्चुअली या आई यूजुअली डोंट ट्रीट माय सेल्फ और गिव अ ट्रीट टू माय सेल्फ बिकॉज यू गिव और यू डोंट गिव आई डोंट बिकॉज ओ हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू डोंट गिव ट्रीट टू योरसेल्फ व्हेन यू कंप्लीटेड योर वर्क कितने लोग हैं जो अपने आप को ट्रीट नहीं देते हो पुष्कर यू डोंट ट्रीट योरसेल्फ यू नो अकॉर्डिंग टू मी आई हैव वन अचीव्ड एनीथिंग बिग इन लाइफ सो आफ्टर आई अचीव समथिंग लाइक दैट आई नॉट येट आई हैव अ डाउट 
cravings yeah. and having a normal food matlab usually uh, i have done this work i can eat this this thing is okay but like exactly if i'm achieving something and then having something as a treat is not uh, done That's much it. yeah see pushkar when you say ke main badi khushi ke baad mein celebrate karunga to aap zindagi ke chote chote khushiyon ko miss out karte ho so your brain sort of thinks that only if i get a great achievement it is an achievement yeah so what is the great achievement that you think that ha ye agar maine kiya then i am somebody um getting into a well recognized college for mba so that's that gives you a sense of significance yeah but my dear son if you are sitting regularly and in a 24 hours 18 hours you are studying and preparing for it that no. is also 18 hours, hours. okay yeah 10 hours 10 hours that is also yeah. an achievement na but you know even if i uh, study for 10 hours and if i don't get the results i want if i don't like uh, yeah i agree i studied 8 hours a day for iit but i didn't get into it so you know why uh, whom can i explain that i have studied 10 or uh, 8 hours a day but still didn't you get don't into have to IIT. explain to anybody you don't have to explain to anybody you have to okay. feel worthy of having spent that much time diligently solving the sums or solving the paper because this is how you tell your brain every small step that i take is an achievement for me yeah what happens is i've seen many people who have achieved so many things in life but they still feel that they are a loser but they have achieved them achieved then they have achieved things in life na i haven't so, no are bade khushi ke liye choti choti khushiyon ko gawa de rahe ho aap if you make each small step as an achievement and you congratulate yourself for that your brain knows that every time he is preparing for something he needs to achieve so okay. automatically your brain will propel you to go further and further it's yeah, like i am hacking my brain step ho gaya to baki sab steps ho jayenge correct so i am hacking my brain by giving it a reward so like can you give me an example of a small achievement a small achievement is if you have decided that in one hour's time this much is what i'm going to complete okay and you have done it okay that's an achievement small achievement yeah brain doesn't know whether it is small or big or great or uh, you know very uh, insignificant yeah brain just knows that you have completed it that's an achievement and if you treat yourself and say oh yeah this guy loves achievements so give yeah. more to him yeah so then even if you don't feel like studying and if you have taken a task you already made your brain think that agar maine kuch liya hai mujhe usko complete karna hai yeah right so automatically yeah. procrastination will go away are you with me yeah all right so the next thing before we wind is another example of how you can be limitless for example how many of you get scared of solo traveling yeah solo traveling kitne logon ko dar lagta hai baaki kisi ko nahi lagta sirf mujhe aur pushkar ko lagta hai aditya ko nahi lagta saish ko nahi lagta solo traveling traveling means to far away places are not idhar se udhar i am actually scared but then i am going to delhi on my own in july just to beat this fear of myself in addition to of course few other few other things mujhe bahut dar lagta hai aaj tak maine akele you know very few places i have gone so what you do is you give a message to your brain that you can do anything that you want you can travel anywhere that you want to aur kuch bhi tum kar sakte ho so the underlying message is you can do be and have whatever you want to so ye solo trip lene ke time you will meet different people different uh, you know cultures bahut sare cheeze tum 
सोच सकते हैं एंड यू कैन क्रिएट वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट इन योर लाइफ सो वंस योर क्रिएटिविटी इज अनलिस्ड यू कैन रीच हाइयर लेवल्स ऑफ सक्सेस सो विथ दीज लाइन्स लेट मी कंक्लूड टूडेज प्रोग्राम एंड ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम श्योर दिस इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू अ लॉट and see you all tomorrow at 3 pm all those uh, who are in the pd and um, wishing you a good night because i see pushkar is really tired and he, he wants to sleep so uh, this is secrets of living a full life and today's session was on being limitless i'm sure that you will be taking your limitless challenge very soon and you will definitely be reaching there um roshni has put a date no to stop thinking about what people will think what is that date roshni come on quick oh, one month at least one month one month so 30 days today is 21st if i'm not mistaken 22 22 so 22nd 22. 22nd of july 22nd of july she is going to shed her inhibitions of what people will think and going to do what she thinks is right correct okay roshni you are the best everybody together roshni, roshni you are the best what are the challenge was taken by sai shai thing right ha phone sanyas right by when by when will it become a habit 21 days right so 11th of july Saish, you are the best. Saish, you are the best. Saish, you are the best. Okay. So, anybody else taking any other challenges as of now? We'll discuss in class tomorrow. So, thank you all very much, and a huge round of applause to your own self for being so, so, so very interactive. Good night, and see you next Wednesday, eight thirty PM. God bless. Yes.